Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl again, Niela Ubijaku, and we're back with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be starting a new series and I'm going to be calling it like Battle of the This and That. So today is going to be Battle of the Moisturizers. This is me going to be comparing almost the same kind of, you know, products from the same brand and trying to tell you guys the similarities and the differences between it this is me saying my undiluted honest review here on my channel i'm going to be doing the battle of moisturizers and i'm going to be starting with the cerave facial moisturizing lotion for morning and facial moisturizing lotion for night if you're seeing my face for the first time and you're yet to subscribe to my channel i would love you to click that cute red button that says subscribe while you're sitting on the bell so you get notified anytime niela posts a new video on our channel and if you're an old subscriber thank you so much for sticking with me to this present time you guys are amazing and wonderful let us get into today's video I'm going to be starting this series with the battle of the moisturizers and the moisturizer I'm going to be featuring in today's video is the CeraVe facial moisturizer for morning and facial moisturizing lotion for night. I'm going to be starting with the similarities between these two moisturizers. So the two moisturizers actually has almost like the same packaging, the same weight. It is 1989 ml and this is also 89 ml. The packaging is pretty much the same. Even the pump is actually the same and both of them actually has like a lock pattern so if you want to unlock it you have to twist it to the left and if you want to lock it you have to twist it back to the right so now you can see i'm trying to press it it is not able to press because it is locked and this one too is also locked but if i try to unlock it you can see that a little thing actually came out so both of them actually has this lock on thing on the on top of the pump or on the pump whereby you can lock up your moisture you can lock up the cap and also you can open it both of them actually contain ceramide hyaluronic acid and also niacinamide which are very very important in your skincare routine so like i also mentioned in my sunscreen video if, if you have oily skin having products or getting a niacinamide serum or having products that contain niacinamide would actually help you improve your oily skin yes because niacinamide not only minimizes pores it also helps to control sebum secretion or sebum production in your on your skin and hyaluronic acid we all know that hyaluronic acid is actually you know really really important in our skincare routine because it holds a thousand times its weight in water and it not only helps you know to retain moisture in your body it also ensures that that moisture doesn't escape yeah it doesn't evaporate and that similarity between these two products is that both of them doesn't contain any form of fragrance or any form of perfume so if you are worried about your skincare products or facial lotions containing scents perfumes or fragrance or fragrances this doesn't contain any form of fragrance or scent or perfume whatsoever another similarities between the both of them is that both of them moisturizes and hydrates and i can tell you for a fact that it also reduces and minimizes let me use the word minimizes my pores so whenever i apply this i notice that my pores are always are actually minimized yes so let us go into the differences between this moisturizer the first difference obviously has to be that one is for morning and one is for night and again with the packaging the one for the morning has like a light blue packaging yeah light blue packaging around here and all while the one for the pm comes in a darker blue you know white and darker blue packaging where the top of the pump you know is in dark blue another difference between the both of them is that the morning one contains spf 30 while the one for the night doesn't contain spf 30 which in all honesty why would you want to wear sunscreen to bed <laughs> that's another difference between these two another difference between the two is that this the one for the night is actually has a lightweight formula while the one for the morning doesn't have a lightweight formula the one for the night also is really really lightweight in consistency and it has more like a clear 
it has more like it's more like clear in color and also in texture while this one has like a whitish you know color and it's a little thicker than this in consistency at the back of the facial moisturizing lotion for the night it contains all the ingredients they use to produce this while the one for the morning just contains active ingredients only so it has the zinc oxide 6.3 percent and other active ingredients another difference between the two is that this one you need to do a little more work while applying it while this one you literally will not do you know anything what do i mean by that in application this one actually applies really well maybe because of the fact that it's clear in you know the color is clear so it, you you really cannot do a lot you don't have to do a lot of massaging and rubbing it into your skin and again it is really really lightweight but this one is not as lightweight as the one for the night that's the morning one and you have to do more applying more rubbing into your skin with this and again this one sort of like leaves a white cast i don't mean like it leaves but you get to see a white cast while you are applying it and that's why i said you need to apply more energy more effort more pressure when you're rubbing this into your skin and i think it has to be because of the, pr the presence of the zinc oxide and this cream doubles as a sunscreen as well as a moisturizer because the spf here is 30 you know so i'm just i'm going to be doing a demo for you guys so you can see the difference and to understand what i am talking about so the white cast actually disappears after a few minutes or after a few after a few minutes yes let me not say after a few seconds but i honestly don't like to see it so i always try as much as possible to apply this in really well before you know i begin to slap on my sunscreen to finish my morning skincare routine another difference between the two is that especially with the morning one since it contains in zinc oxide is that sometimes it feels the first few days i was using it it felt like it was peeling you know i actually thought it was the cutting wool from my um cutting pad because i got the cutting pad from dollar 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 tree or dollarama dollarama i can't remember you know you know things that are sold there are relatively cheap not even relatively cheap they are really really cheap and sometimes they may not be like the best of the best of the best quality so i actually thought it was my cutting wool you know the cutting wool from the cutting pad that was actually staining but i realized that it wasn't the cutting wool so i it made me go and do more research to find out why this feels like you know it's peeling off on my skin after application i also thought that it was because i was rubbing it in too much because i wanted the white cast to just disappear but again after doing my research i got to find out that the reason is that i did not allow you know other products settling well before you use this because this hydrates as well i'm not going to lie this moisturizes and hydrates as well and i also use other products that hydrates the skin and i also use hyaluronic acid in my skincare routine but i don't use it every day in my skincare routine but i use hyaluronic hyaluronic acid so what it does is that when you don't allow other skincare products you have used to settle in, in your skin before you go on to the next one is actually going to cause you know feel like it's peeling off not that your skin is peeling but it feels you'll be seeing you know like white white things feels like the cream is peeling off on your skin so the trick is like i said the trick is to ensure that whatever products you're using especially if they are tailored to hydration please allow them settle in your skin well before you slap on this cerave facial moisturizing lotion on your skin the key to killing off the whole peeling is to ensure that other hydrating products you're using settles in in your skin before you apply this and like i said i always like to rub it in really well so i don't even get to see the white cast at all it is not bad trust me it is not bad at all it's obvious mineral sunscreen that when you use them you it feels like you use nixodem on your face but this one doesn't really do that the only thing is that i always ensure that i rub it in very well so i'm going to be using this side for the morning one and i'm going to be using this side for the night one so i'm going to be putting just a pump which is 
which is even a lot you can see that it is really 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 white so normal me i would have rubbed this against my palm but since i'm going to be wearing on two different sides i'm just going to be applying this you can see how white it is so i'm going to be rubbing this in Another thing I do is I only take three palms for the for the whole of my face. I don't do more than three palms for the whole of my face. So this is my face without a moisturizer and this is my face with the moisturizer. Then I'm going to be trying the one for the night. So like I said, it's not as white as this, but it's sort of like disappear into the skin. Can you see? It's really, really lightweight. So guys this is my face this is with the one for the night and this is with the one for the morning so you guys can tell when i say when i said that this one is really really lightweight and you can notice that it disappeared well into my skin without me having to do you know a lot of rubbing in compared to this one i kept on rubbing it in and you guys could still see that it had the whole white thing but the good thing is that it still keeps your skin protected from sun you know uv rays because it contains spf and so you are good as fine as having a sunscreen sort of in like a moisturizer but it doesn't stop you from getting a sunscreen because i also wear a sunscreen i use a chemical sunscreen from neutrogena the hydro boost spf 50 on my face after i am done with my morning routine Can you guys tell the difference? And you can see that it's really moisturized. I don't feel like my skin has a lot of oil. Like I don't feel like I slapped on oil on my skin. So guys, my final verdict on this product, would I be repurchasing this product? Yes. Did this product serve me or is this product serving me? Yes, this product is serving me. I'm going to be used, repurchasing this product. Initially, I thought I was going to just look for another moisturizing lotion for my morning skincare routine, which I think I would, you know, because you may not always have that luxury of time to want to blend in your facial moisturizing lotion before you go out which like i said no honesty actually disappears after a few minutes but what if you don't have that few minutes you know to spare for it to disappear or you don't have that extra seconds or extra minutes to give you know to massage it well into your skin so i may be repurchasing a facial moisturizing lotion but if i don't find anyone that is suitable for my skincare or if i'm not able to purchase a new facial moisturizing lotion before this one runs out i am going to be repurchasing this one as well and for the night one i am always always everly everly going to be repurchasing it because i actually like the cooling feel it gives my skin whenever i use it at night you know whenever i use it in my nighttime skincare routine I use this as my second to last step in my nighttime skincare routine before i use my facial oil on my face and then i go to bed like i said the moisturizer is good it actually it actually delivers on what it says i love the fact that both of them contain ceramides hyaluronic acid and niacinamide 
I love the fact that both of them also keeps my skin hydrated and also moisturizes my skin as well. Like I said, I will be repurchasing. This is 100% for me repurchasing this, but this is like a 70%. It's not like it doesn't do the job. It actually does the job, but for days when you don't have that luxury of time to want to massage it well into your skin or probably if you don't have that luxury of time to allow the whole thing settle well into your skin and probably you know the white cast disappearing then that's the reason why i may not be repurchasing this i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you guys in my next one if there's any other products you would like me to review for you guys please let me know i'm going to try as much as possible to purchase the product and come here to give you my undiluted honest review on these products do have a fab day ahead bye guys